Today's moving day. Today is moving day. We're doing it. We're, We're doing moving. the things. It's Little did I know that this was going to be one of the hardest times of my life. Growing up, I always thought that moving out and living home alone meant adventurous excitement, freedom. Honestly, because that's what Hollywood told me. Yeah. And uh, honestly, not to say the wrong, but did it? We did it. Everything's mm -hmm. packed up. I realized that there was more to the story. Right. We're almost there. We're almost there. Almost there. How you feeling? Good. How are you feeling? I'm feeling great. You ready to unload stuff? Yeah, you? Yeah. This is our new area. This is our new home. You've got... Oh, Erica is at the great restaurant. This is a coffee shop. It's Star, Star, um, Star Wars themed. It's Star Wars themed coffee shop? Yeah, it's called The Dark Side. Oh. And they've got like all their coffee drinks are like named after Star Wars themed things. Fancy. Moving day was a whirlwind of emotions. On one hand, I was moving out, growing up, and taking the next step. But on the other hand, I was leaving the only thing I ever knew for these past 20 years of my life. Some occasion with them. And just as easy as moving day came, it was gone. I'm all moved in, and by myself. I didn't really film it, but the first couple of nights I literally went to bed just you know, feeling so lonely and empty and sad. Definitely as the days have gone by, it's gotten a little bit easier. Living alone in an empty house is not really my favorite thing, you know? I'm very much so, I like being around family, I like being around people. And it's weird when you go from that straight to not having that, it's just like, it just has taken me a little bit to get used to, for sure. The upside of my situation was I did have a three-legged furball named Ren. She was my companion when no other human could physically be there for me. Ren's coming up the slide with me. Look at, look at her go. We will do this thing together. Oh, oh this is really hard to do. Oh. Oh. Are you ready for the ride of your life? This is gonna be three seconds of insanity. Oh, oh, oh crap, oh no. This is not as smooth as I was thinking. Oh god, oh god. Oh, this... oh. Oh. Uh. Instead of being three seconds of insanity, it's more like 10 seconds of hell. Uh. <laughs> that doesn't work at all. <laughs> but if you've ever had a dog in an apartment, you know that that opened up a whole nother realm of responsibilities that I had. Yeah, cleaning up after my dog is not really a bragging point for me. But, as much as I hate it, you gotta do what you gotta do. So, I came home from work today um, to just a whole, just a whole mess. Pretty much while I was gone at work, Ren pooped on the stairs. Just, just a big old turd right on the stairs. She also broke the blinds in my room. I mean, look at it. That is unfortunate. There's some pieces down there. So I think I'm going to go to the store and maybe get some new blinds and maybe also fix the washer finally. Cause that still hasn't been done yet. Oh, yes, the washer. I was trying really hard to forget about that one. This is my first load of laundry in my new place. Let me just start off by saying, I had no idea. I went through this much laundry in one week. It's literally been one week of me living here. And the first day of me living here was just me moving in. So this doesn't even make any sense. How do I go through this much clothes in a week? Yeah, 
and then this happened. So, uh, just ran into our first home situation, I should say. You see that tube right there? Normally that tube is supposed to drain the water into that thing right there. However, I noticed that there was a little bit of water on the ground. And so I was like, oh, that's weird. So I pulled out the dryer, started cleaning up the water, didn't see a leak anywhere. And then all of a sudden the washer went into a different, I guess, state of washing. Just really hot water starts spewing out of that thing. So there I was, home alone, living with my three-legged dog and my washer that spews out lava water. The Hollywood idea I had in my mind is looking more and more different every day. Not to mention, my sleep schedule is getting worse too. I woke up this morning at almost 11 o'clock, which is not like me at all. I'd never do that. I don't know if it's because I'm getting lazier or if right now I feel a little bit sick and that's why. I can't really tell. Either way, I don't like it. I can't do this anymore. And by that, I mean, I can't do this alone anymore. You see, throughout this move, I was never truly alone. I had a family who loved me dearly and a soon-to-be wife that was there for me every single day that I felt like crying my eyes out. Josephine's on a fall oh, decorative kind of like mood. I want all the fall decorations, but I don't have the money for all the fall decorations. Even though they tried to be there for me as much as they could physically, mentally, I felt alone. It was nobody's fault but my own. I had put up this standard in my head that I needed to do it by myself, which couldn't have been further away from the truth. I needed people, but not only that, I needed to let people in. So Destiny spent the night last night. What would you say your favorite part of me having my own place was? What, what would you say it is? That's weird. Even though moving out isn't at all what I thought it would be like, it is exactly uh, what I make it. We decided to make chicken alfredo for yeah, our dinner tonight. If I choose to let it suck, it's going to suck. As soon as I think that I'm getting closer to getting everything to where like working well, it's going good, something happens. If I choose to make it great, oh, look how cute they are. it's going to be great. I realized that walls don't make a home. It's the memories that are inside those walls that make the home. The people that you put inside those walls that you do community with, that's what makes a home. So this is just the beginning. This is where it starts. This is where I build a home with my beautiful soon-to-be wife. This is where we bring friends and family and we feed them and do community and tell stories around the table that make us laugh till the end of the night. This, this is my home.